Okay, so I have two great performing devices right in front of me that is going to give us that super buttery, smooth, snappy experience. That's right, I got the S22 Ultra here to my left and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra here to my right. And today we're gonna to be doing a little speed test between both of these to see which one is faster. And if I'm being honest, Using both of them side by side, I am able to tell that the Galaxy S23 Ultra is just a little bit faster than the S22 Ultra, but to be completely honest, you're not really going to be able to tell a big difference unless you're holding both of them side by side, just like I have here. But we're gonna be testing it out anyways. This video is just for fun, just to show you guys which device is faster and how much faster it is than the other. Now, before we get started, let me go ahead and remind you of a giveaway that I am partnering up with my brother with, giving away some Funko Pop. So for those of you who are into that and want to win one of these cool Funko Pops that you are seeing right here, head over to the Instagram page down in the description below or the pinned comment below as well. Make sure you follow that page and leave a comment in the giveaway post letting us know which Funko Pop you want for yourself. That way you have a chance of winning one for yourself. And keep in mind that this is a US only giveaway. So good luck to everyone with that. But let's go ahead and get this speed test started. So just checking here, making sure all apps are closed on both devices and it looks like they are. So we're gonna start off simple here. See which phone opens up the clock app first. Like I mentioned, the S23 Ultra is to my right. S22 Ultra to my left. Let's go ahead and get this started in three, two, one. And that was pretty much about the same time. Let's go ahead and start the clock on both of these. We'll go home. And then we'll also check out RAM management after we're done going through all of these apps right here to see if any app has to start over or if it will stay back where we left off. So going into the calculator next, three, two, one. And both about the same. Let's go ahead and do a little math problem there. All right, let's go home. Next is the camera app, three, two, one. Uh, I don't know. You guys let me know what you saw down in the comment sections below. It's kind of hard uh, seeing right here behind the camera, but let's go ahead and see which one takes a picture first. All right, three, two, one. Okay, definitely faster on the S23 Ultra. So you can see there it's taking the picture just a little bit faster. Now, one thing I want to see is the speed of the S Pen. So for those of you that know, yes, this does have uh, Bluetooth capabilities and you're able to use it as a wand to be able to switch up camera modes. And I wanna see which one does it the fastest. So let's go ahead and do this. Here we go, okay, let's see. Okay, so this is the S22 Ultra s -Pen. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and switch over to uh, portrait mode. Hmm, back to photo mode. Next, let's switch cameras. Oh, that was a little bit faster with the S23 Ultra, but pretty much, <laughs> pretty much almost exactly the same. Let me go ahead and throw the S Pens back in the devices here. There we go, back in the S22 Ultra. All right, let's move on to the next app, going over to Subway Surfer. So gonna hit a little bit of gaming right here. Three, two, one. And they are off. It looks like it's loading up faster on the S23 Ultra. Boom. So as you can see, it's not by a lot, but it is faster. Let's go ahead and start a game here. Boom. All right, let's go ahead and go back home on both of these. All right, going into Twitter now. Three, two, one. And it looked pretty much about the same. Let's go home on both of these. All right, let's go back. Y'all let me know about that one as well. Okay, let's open up YouTube. Three, two, one. Okay, that was definitely faster on the S23 Ultra. All right, I wanted to go over to my TV there. As you can see, scrolling is super smooth on both of these devices, no problems there. All right, heading over to Temple Run 2. Three, two, one. And they are off. Looks like the S23 Ultra is just a little bit ahead. Loading up. Oh, okay, so I think that was actually a little bit faster on the S22 Ultra. Let's see which one pops up first with the play. Okay, so yeah, it actually loaded up a little bit faster on the S22 Ultra, all right. Starting the game on both of those. Let's go home. All right, next, Apex Legends. So a bit of a bigger game here. More to load, three, two, one. Let's see, let's see. You can probably hear my little boy in the back. <laughs> it's all good, all right. Looks like the S23 Ultra. It's loading up just a little bit faster. So you can see the loading bar right there. Oh, but the S22 Ultra kept in uh, Let's see, let's see, which one, which one? Almost there, almost there. 
Uh, all right, looks like the S23 Ultra did load up faster than the S22 Ultra, but just by a little bit. It wasn't even by a lot at all. Okay, next going to Kindmaster. This is my video editor here that I used to edit 4K video, three, two, one. Okay, did open up faster with the S23 Ultra. Now what we're gonna do is go into this video that I have right here. It's a one minute 4K video, and I also have layers on it along with some music as well, as you can see here, just a random 4K video. But we're, we're gonna see which device renders this video the fastest. So let's go in here and that actually loaded up faster right here. So we'll take it into 4K, 30 frames per second, save as video in three, two, one. All right, let's see which one saves it in that 4K format the fastest at 4K 30. And they look almost about the same there. Let's see, let's see. Gotta take my face around behind, uh, take it out of behind the camera so I can see better. And they pretty much look like they're neck and neck. Actually, the S22 Ultra looks like it's actually a little bit ahead of the S23 Ultra, which is weird because during my testing, the S23 Ultra usually finishes rendering these videos faster than my S22 Ultra did. But for some reason, look at that. Boom, done. Look at <laughs> the S23 Ultra isn't even done yet. And boom, all right, there it is. Let's go ahead and go home. So that was crazy right there. The S22 Ultra actually won. Let's go back into, or actually let's go into Amazon shopping. Three, two, one. Okay, so it did load up faster on the S23 Ultra. Next, let's go into the Chrome browser. Three, two, one. Okay, so it actually finished first on the S23 Ultra. Let's see, go to Samsung com on both of these samsung.com all right ready three two one Let's see which one loads the page faster and yes it did finish faster on the s23 ultra but once we're in i mean both devices are scrolling super smooth so as you can see i mean for the most part yes everything was faster on the s23 ultra except for that 4k video saving for some reason it was just faster on the s22 ultra but let's check out our ram management now let's go back to the clock so you can see they're still keeping the time for us let's go to the calculator our problem is still there the camera no, not really anything changed there subway surfers oh okay is it loading the game back up from the beginning again yes it is so it looks like we're gonna have to tap and play again we didn't uh go back to where we left off Let's see, going to Twitter, back where we left off, going to YouTube, still right there in that same homepage, nothing new loading up there, Temple Run, it looks like it's back where we left off so we can continue there. So I'm assuming with Subway Surfers, maybe that's just something it automatically does because with Temple Run, it actually went back to where we left off. Okay, next is Apex Legends. Okay, didn't have to reload there, but it did still load up faster on the S23 Ultra. So still where we left off, Kind Master, still right where we left off, Amazon Shopping, still right where we left off. Let's go to the Chrome browser again. Still right where we left off. Let's click one of these pages actually. Let's see, let's go to, let's go to buy now right here. Three, two, one. Let's see which one loads up faster. Still loaded up faster on the S23 Ultra, but it did bring up that little block thing right there let's see is there anything else we can click on on this page right here let's see what if we go all the way down to the bottom let's go to shop let's go to phones let's see oh oh which one loaded faster signed in it's signing me in oh, okay so this one actually went to i don't know i'm guessing like a load up page or the home page there we go <laughs> this one didn't do that for some reason kind of weird there so i don't know i couldn't really tell from that test but there you have it, just a little speed test between the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and the S23 Ultra. Y'all know, y'all let me know which one you think performed better out of the two here. I think the S23 Ultra did do a little bit better, but like I said earlier, the difference is not that major. I mean, if you're using these separate, you're not gonna notice a difference unless you hold them close together like this, then you'll notice that small difference in performance. Now, where you can actually start telling the difference is when you continually use both of these phones for a very long time. That's where the S23 Ultra will really push through a lot of that heavy usage, especially when it comes to gaming. 
It just handles it a lot better because of that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip that is designed for Galaxy devices. It helps with that heating up of the device. It allows it to stay cooler than what we will experience with the Galaxy S22 Ultra and just overall heavy usage will be a lot better with the S23 Ultra. And then it also helps with battery life as well, making that battery last a lot longer than what we have with the S22 Ultra as well. But y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comments sections below. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Also, don't forget to enter that giveaway. Thanks so much for watching. This is Josh Pinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.